all right hello everyone and welcome back so let's continue our discussion from the last video we want to prove that the limit of the sequence is 2 over 5 using uh, the definition of the limit okay all right let's do our scratch work first let's start with for any epsilon greater than 0 let's bound it by the distance between the absolute value of the well the distance between the nth term of the sequence minus the suspected limit perfect now we want to simplify what we have inside this absolute value let's take the common denominator so common denominator is 5 times 5n minus 2 5 times 2n plus 1 minus 2 times 5n minus 2 all right Let's be careful with this negative sign, okay? All right. Now, if we simplify, what we get in the numerator is, um, let's see, 10n plus 5 minus 10n plus 4. Okay, perfect. 5 times 5n minus 2, less than epsilon. Now, 10n cancel out. What we get is 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 over 5, 5n minus 2. All right, fantastic. Now here's the thing. If you think about this, n is always like natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on and so on. So what you have inside the absolute value is always positive. Okay, all right. So then because of that, we can drop the absolute value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to do that here. Let's drop the absolute value 9 over 5 5 and minus 2 less than epsilon okay now we want to take that we want to isolate that simple n on the right hand side of the inequality right we want to get something like n is greater than um, everything that has to do with epsilon and others numbers should be on the uh, our relation should be like this or like this All right we want to isolate n perfect what can we do well, let's switch epsilon and 5n minus 2. Let's see what happens. Five, 9 over 5. Let's keep that 5 on the left. Let's take epsilon here and 5n minus 2. Now, this implies let's get that 2 to the left-hand side, negative 2 to the left-hand side. So, this is what we get. Now, well, divide by 5. If we divide by 5, we get is 9 over 25 epsilon here plus 2 over 5 less than n. Now this is the key statement. We can rewrite it as n is greater than 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5. Guess what is capital N? So from here the capital N that depends on epsilon is 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5. So we are done with our scratch work because we found capital N. Okay, It's not the most beautiful expression but it is what it is. Alright, now what we have to do is we have to write the proof now let epsilon great be greater than zero and let capital n be what did we found 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5 all right then simple n greater than capital n implies simple n greater than what is capital n 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5 so let's pause now what we are going to do in this proof is we are going to work backwards of the scratch work so we are going to work, work backwards and we are going to get this end statement okay all right let's see what happens we can take five of this uh, five from this denominator and take it to the left hand side that's exactly what we did right we divided by five so we want to get this now we are going to go step by step backwards so we can take five n this implies five n nine over five epsilon plus two right now let's take two to the um, left hand side 5n minus 2 over 9 over 5 epsilon so see simply working backwards okay same steps but backwards of this scratch work now let's exchange epsilon and 5n minus 2 so epsilon is greater than 9 over 5 5n minus 2 okay all right uh, let me find space perfect I can rewrite this statement 9 over 5, 5n minus 2 is less than epsilon. Now we can have that our absolute values, right? 9 over 5, 5n minus 2 less than epsilon. Now from here, we got this statement from where? We got this statement by simplifying what we had here. So our end statement, the statement that we need is this 
implies 2n plus 1 over 5n minus 2 minus 2 over 5 is less than epsilon okay all right let me finish this this is the key statement so let's say this is statement two this is statement one don't write it like statement one and two in your proof okay this is just i'm trying to explain what's going on here so if statement one happens statement two happens if statement two happens statement one happens so it is if and only if okay so we already have we already worked it out so we can go backwards now what is so we are done with the proof then hence because we got this statement we can say um, limit so let's write it properly for any epsilon greater than 0 and n is equal to 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5 n greater than 9 over 25 epsilon plus 2 over 5 implies that 2n plus 1 over 5n minus 2 minus 2 over 5 is less than epsilon hence okay fill out the words hence limit as n goes to infinity of limit of 2n plus 1 over come on 5n minus 2 the limit is 2 over 5 okay all right so that's the complete proof okay all right hello everyone so we want to prove that the limit of this sequence is zero using a formal proof all right so let's start let's start with our scratch work so for any epsilon okay so for each epsilon or for any epsilon greater than zero let's see we want to find uh, the capital n we want to find how large simple n should be okay so let's take the distance between the nth term of the sequence and the suspected limit e0 and we should be bounded by epsilon lot right and we must have this relation okay so we want to guarantee this so we want to find how big our little n should be perfect so let's work with this we can drop that zero and this is what we get because subtracting by zero means nothing here makes no difference and then if we carefully look at what we have inside the absolute value it's always positive right because n plus one remember n belongs to the natural number system okay and n plus one is always then will be greater than n okay so the square roots will hold the same relationship so the difference between them is always positive for any n value as we uh, accord according to what we have defined for n so we can drop the absolute value all right square root n is less than epsilon perfect now what can we do we have two n terms here okay so we wanna we wanna do what we wanna have just a one n term we wanna isolate it in the right hand side right let's see how we can do well um we can we can use an algebraic trick we can multiply what we have here by square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n we can multiply by that and we can divide by the same thing so it makes no difference mathematically but it's actually an algebraic trick okay okay let's see where did this line came from all right now let's see we are gonna simplify the numerator let's see what we get if we simplify the numerator if you multiply this term by this term what we get is n plus 1 we can get rid of the square root n plus 1 minus n and in the denominator we have square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n less than epsilon so n cancel out we get 1 over square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n okay let's think about it this here now um rather than working with this complicated fraction okay what i'm going to think is i'm going to bound it by another fraction from what can i bound it with so this is critical okay so pay attention now we all know n plus 1 square root of n plus 1 is greater than square root of n right we know this fact now if you take the reciprocal what happens is the reverse happen actually 1 over square root of n plus 1 is actually less than 1 over square root n okay smaller the denominator bigger the fraction so here we have a smaller denominator right perfect 
now we can instead of having square root of n plus 1 here we can have square root n there and then it will make this fraction bigger than what we have here okay based on these two facts so um we can say 1 over n plus 1 square root is less than 1 over n square root plus n square root is 2 n square root and let's have epsilon just greater than this and automatically then epsilon will be automatically greater than what we want okay all right so now let's work with what we have now here so this is really a less complicated fraction so we can let's say we can swap epsilon and n right square root n and we can take the square so n is actually we will get n is actually greater than 4 epsilon square and this is exactly what we want okay so we can deduce that capital n that depends on epsilon is actually 1 over 4 epsilon square perfect now let's write the formal proof with what we have okay so let epsilon greater than be 0 and let capital n be 1 over 4 epsilon square so then okay then n greater than capital n simple n greater than capital n n greater than 1 over 4 epsilon square implies that so we work backwards right so this implies let's see 1 over 2 epsilon less than square root n i'm going to skip some steps okay so this implies what 1 over 2 square root n less than epsilon so this implies 1 over n plus 1 plus square root n less than epsilon okay you can fill out the middle um line by saying that 1 over 2 square root n is greater than 1 over square root n plus 1 plus square root n okay so this implies we can let's directly write we can say n plus 1 okay you can add some steps okay that we had here okay in our scratch work but it all leads up to here if we work backwards right okay so what we get is we prove okay so let's um clearly write down the definition so for any epsilon for each over any epsilon greater than zero okay and n greater than and there exist a there exist a n that belongs to the natural number system okay where n greater than 1 over 4 epsilon square because n is 1 over 4 epsilon care square implies that square root n plus 1 minus square root n minus 0 is less than epsilon so limit of this sequence is actually 0 oops okay all right so that's the formal proof thank you